Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to another beautiful class of physics where uh, uh, I will prove that how the mirror equation is derived. Many students ask me in Facebook that when they use these equations in, uh, uh, in mirror or in lens, they ask that why and how it will uh, it derives and why you should use it. So this tutorial is about this, the derivation process of the mirror equations and we know that the mirror equation is 1 by V plus 1 by U is equal 1 by F. We know it already that this is the equations but how it derives this is a very beautiful process and we need to know that how to use these equations in case of mathematical problem solving techniques because uh, I, you know that I have uploaded series of videos based on reflection of light and the refraction of light is coming. So how it derives. So this tutorial is about the derivation of 1 by V plus 1 by U is equal 1 by F. Before going to explain, do we know that what is V, U and F? So uh, I'm, just, I'm just giving you a simple example though I draw three figures here which is the same figures from this uh, figure, I'm just explaining it. So before going to explain, see about it. Suppose this is uh, this is a concave mirror, and those who you'll see my videos on the rule of six, you know that I explain that where should be the image in different position of object. If it is uh, F and C, and if if. Uh, anything like the object is kept in here and the image will form here so what is actually V F and U so think about it this is the F and this is pole and this is the center of curvature so I know that this is the the length of object and this is the length of image and you know that this is the position where the object was kept. So now you know that if I say this is O and A, and if I say this is a, a G and I, you must know that all the length is considered from this pole. So what is V, U and F? We know that F is the focal distance, that is FP. We must know it. That F is equal to FP, that is actually focal distance. Okay? And you see that this is the object. It is kept in OA position. So this is U. So U is actually AP. That is the distance of object from the pole. And V is actually the image where it was formed in between the center of curvature and the focal distance which is G. So the V is actually GP. So you see that all of the distance is measured from P. So this is what? This is the distance of object U is distance of object and V is the distance of image. I hope you'll understand this level. Of course, so now, now we, we understand this, that this is the thing. And then we must follow this, that this F is actually FP, this U is actually AP, and this V is actually GP, if we consider this figure as our standard figure. But because this equation is applicable for in any mirror or in any lens. This is applicable for convex and concave mirror and it's also, also applicable in case of convex and concave lens. So I hope you understand this thing. Now another important thing we need to understand which is the similarity, the triangle similarity. What about the triangle similarity? So if I say simply the basic knowledge of geometry if I say that this is a triangle and this is also a triangle. So if I say that these two triangle, though I, I'm, I'm not perfectly uh, drawn up, but if I say that these two triangle are similar triangle and it is derived at, like it said that A, B 
C and if I say that P, Q and R then what we can say if these two triangles are similar triangle then we can say that the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal or even we can say that the measure of the corresponding angles are same if we can prove that these two angles are equal I mean similar or if we can prove that the, the corresponding the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal or the, the angles of corresponding sides corresponding angles measures are same then we also can say these two triangles are similar so now if we say that these two triangles are similar we can say that the AB AB upon PQ the ratio is equal BC BC upon Q R is equal AC AC upon PR if we say that in triangle ABC and triangle PQR are similar or even we can say that this angle and this angle are same the measure of this angle are same the measure of this angle are same and also same so you also can say that angle A is equal angle P or angle B is equal angle Q angle C is equal angle R if that triangle ABC and triangle PQR are similar okay this is basic geometry and it's very normal so AB by PQ BC upon QR and AC upon PR similar as because these two are similar triangle so I hope you understand this concept and also you understand this concept now this thing will definitely applicable here when we will think about it so if we, we think the same concept in this figure suppose you see the reason figure that I already explained that OA is an object which is placed after C and this is a concave mirror I'm explaining it based on concave mirror which is also applicable in case of convex mirror also and you see following the principle GI is the image which is formed in between C and F okay so if for uh, for making it simple if I draw a tangent tangent on the point P if I draw then you see there will be a there will be a, a distance in between these so if I draw if I draw a tangent which is drawn here so we see that there is a gap here which is negligible as because this is very near so we can say this point is B and this point is D so I just pick up here this point is B and this point is D similarly here also this is the fragmentations of this figure so OA is an object is placed and then if a parallel line falls in this in this middle at B point and then it will come back through F and this F is the principal focus and this is the center of curvature and if you see that another line diagram is, is falling through F and then after reflection it goes to the parallel to the principal axis so this is the image which is formed it's real and inverted so the, the image is real and inverted now you see that GI is the image so I can say that OA this is object and GI this is image okay now if I take this one here and this line diagram here and vanish everything now think about the two triangle I hope you understand we will just think about only the object and the image so think about this GI is here OA is here and forget all other lines for thinking completely 
about this. Now in triangle, in triangle, triangle O A F and triangle, triangle F P D. Okay, F P D. Can we say that these two triangles are similar? How? Because in these two triangles we see that angle O A F angle OAF and angle FPD are equal as is because both are perpendicular and this angle is 90 degree and also we can say that angle OFA and angle PFD are also equal as because these two lines are intersecting so in this two triangle we can say that these uh, corresponding sides and the angles are same so we can say that o a o a over over p d equal equal a f a f over f p and is equal o f o f over f d now actually we can say that uh, we are not interested in this point because well why that I'm coming up so in this case we can say that OA is actually what is actually the height of the object so we can say that OA is the height of object this PD is actually this is the same so we can say that this I and D is equal so we can say that GI is equal PD so this is the height of the image so this is the height of image can you imagine that so GI was the image so if you see that this is parallel so this PD is actually GI so this PD is height of image and we also can say that AF is actually what is actually AP minus FP so we can say that AP minus FP FP is small f so now you can see that AP minus FP is actually what? AP is the distance of, of object so this is AP so we know that this is U so we say U minus F by F so we see from these equations there is a uh, number one equations and then in the second times that when this image was formed you see that GI is from BI so if you say that in these two parallel in those two triangle say in triangle GFI and triangle triangle BFP BFP what's happening so we also can say these two are also a similar triangle as because this is 90 and this is 90 and similarly <clears throat> like before these two are intersecting so vertical angle is also same so these two triangles are also similar so we can say that GI over BP so or we can say that BP BP over GI BP over GI or equal PF PF over GF GF is equal to is equal to if over f b uh, so in this case b no it will be like fb by if so it will be fb by if so so we also can say and we also can actually uh, make it real then then this bp actually what this bp actually the height of the object so we also can say that height of object and this is height of image is equal pf what is pf pf is the focus and gf is actually gp minus pf so we can say gp minus pf pf so so from this equation we also can say this is f this gp is actually the distance of the image like this so this is V minus F so you also get number two equations 
So now you see that H O by H I is equal to this. And similarly H O by H I is equal to this. Now we can have these two equations are same. So what we can do, we also can do that this one is actually this one. So I hope you understand. So if we say in the other part that I need to erase it. Um, okay. I am erasing it u f similarly f minus v minus f f minus f by v minus f so you can say that u minus f by f and f by v minus f is equal to similar because from equation 1 and equation 2 we can say this now if you say this one u minus f times v minus f just multiplication f square so we say <coughs> that v u minus u f minus v f plus f square is equal f square so from both sides we can change it so we can say that okay v u is equal change it in other place u f plus v f plus f square minus f square erase and then if we divide the equations v u from u f plus v f and if i divide by u v f then it would be 1 by f equal 1 by v plus 1 by u dividing dividing by u v f so i got the equations of mirror equations so simply what we did we we just proved that these two are the similar triangle and from that we got an equations one and from this triangle similar triangles you also got the another uh, equations from that we see that these two are same and when we derived we will have one by f equal one by v plus one by u so I hope you understand this is the process of uh, the derivations this is the easiest one there are a lot of other ways to explain it so do you really understand how I just explain these from that so we just think over uh, the object and also about the image and this is the process to solve it down so i hope you understand our next tutorial i'm coming up with uh, the implications of this process into the mathematical problem solving technique so take care stay well study well bye